Hello everyone and uh, good evening po sa ating lahat. Today is Tuesday, the second day of the week, June 22, 2021. So hello sa inyong lahat and magandang magandang gabi po. Once again, eto ulit tayo for our kulitan, chismisan at stock kwentuhan dito sa Stock Silog page. So let's uh, have fun today and see kung anong mga mangyayari no, sa ating uh, ating session ngayong araw na to. Ayan. So, since meron ng mga nasa stream, simula pa kanina, mga around alas 7 pa lang, nag, uh, nasa loob na ng stream natin. So, batiin ko lang, no, yung iba nating mga kasama dito. Kuya Jay, as early as 6.40pm, magandang magandang gabi sa'yo. Hello sa'yo. Uh, Daddy Jay, good evening. Lori, hello. Cesar, Mon, Jui, Jackson, Oliver, masakto kakauwi lang. Nice, nice. So, pahinga muna, no? Uh, relax, relax habang nakikinig. Ayan. LJ, magandang gabi. Maulang gabi rin. Um, wow, from Cebu. Nice. I hope uh, maayos ang lahat. Cesar, good evening. Uh, kailan ang... Ah, okay. Kailan ang upload? Ah, upload ng mga videos after pa siya ng masterclass. So, in about five, no, in about six to seven weeks from now. So, medyo may katagalan pa. Ayan. Roy, good evening. Uh, Jackson, bakit wala sa FB? Meron, live tayo sa Facebook. Cyber K, good evening sa'yo. Vernon, hello. Romel, ayan, si Romel na sa Facebook. So, ayan. Good evening, Lance, uh, Alfred, Patrick, Jules, good evening. Ayan. Tess, Joshua, Josh SG, good evening. Alex, uh, Jingle, ayan. So, magandang magandang gabi sa ating lahat. Si Marco, nandito din. Lenore, good evening. Iyon. Nice. Ang dami na rin pala natin dito, ano? So, sige, it's already 8.07. Let's wait for one more minute, ha? Isang, isang minuto na lang. Tapos, mag, uh, magsimula na tayo. Okay? So, ayan, teka lang, ha? Ayusin ko lang yung iba ko dito. Mm-hmm. Wait lang guys ah. Teka lang. Meron lang akong binabasang isang email dito. Ayan, okay. Sige, sige. Okay, okay. Ayan, it's 8.08 na. Pasensya na. Uh, tumayamig lang ako saglit dahil may may email lang na kailangan kong reviewin. Pero, I'm back. So, tara, simulan natin para mas makaram- makarami tayo ngayong gabi na to. Ayan. Sige. Uh, guys, ganito muna, no? Technical uh, technical check muna tayo. Uh, and then, babalik ako din sa comment section. Uh, technical check, kung maayos naman lahat, malinaw, um, klaro yung sounds, audio yung, yung audio, yeah, of course. Uh, papress naman ako number 8. Number 8 lang po tayo kung maayos ang lahat. And then, we'll, ano, we will start. Hmm. Ayun, maraming salamat. Mga nag number 8. Yon, nice, nice, nice. Sige, simulan na natin para mas makarami tayo today. 
Ayan. So once again, no, uh, hello sa inyong lahat and good evening. This is Stockwentuhan, which is irregular show dito sa Stocksilog, kung saan pinag-uusapan natin yung mga kung ano-ano lang, special topics, mga Q&A, and of course, stock reviews. Mamaya yan, after. No? So kung baguhan ka man or experienced na trader, you'll definitely learn something dito sa ating session. Siyempre, ito, lagi kong remind remember that this is just for research purposes only. Hindi po tayo nagbibigay ng recommendation dito dahil hindi tayo, hindi tayo katulad ng ibang mga nag-a-analyze dyan. Uh, pasensya na, ano lang ako, pulubi trader, wala po akong bolang kristal. Kaya uh, I cannot uh, make any recommendations. No? But what I try to do here is to share yung thought process ko on what, on why I said those pieces. Okay? So, ganun yung, yung ginagawa natin dito. Doon sa mga medyo matatagal na, you, you are already familiar kung paano ginagawa ko. But then, doon sa mga bago, I think uh, that is something na you'd like to think about, no? Uh, especially whenever you try to to listen to new analysts na mga nakikita ninyo sa social media. Okay? So, ayan. And of course, lastly, syempre, if you find that this session is helpful, please follow our social media accounts, especially sa YouTube. No. Um, also, please share the stream para mas marami tayong matulungan. When you subscribe and share the stream, it actually helps us continue to deliver the videos and all of its content for free. Yan. Okie dokie. So, once again, guys, ha, uh, ito. Yan. Yan. So, again, uh, we have activated our Slido. Okay? So, guys, ha, uh, for those na may mga tanong or gustong mag-vote up, okay, gustong mag-vote up ng mga tanong, so just join slido.com uh, and then uh, code natin dito is Stocksilog. In-update in- ko na siya, hindi na yung 3-8 something nung nakaraan. Okay? But uh, nevertheless, I think uh, nandito pa rin naman yung ano. I'll try to give you the Nasaan na ba yun? Hmm, hindi yan eh. Doon tayo sa ano. Hmm. Uh, I'm trying to look up yung ating link para maibigay ko sa inyo ng diretsyo. Okay. So, ayan po. Ito muna ha para sa mga questions. Okay? Sa mga questions. Mamaya, I'll po, ah, uh, ito, sige. For questions. Ayan. Okay? While, ito naman ang for, ito ha? Ito naman para sa stock request. Yan. Okay? So, yan na para clear. Okay. Sige. Pero, syempre, before ta- before we go on to our uh, our Q&A session, okay, uh, let's have a quick market recap muna kung ano nga ba ang nangyari sa market natin para doon sa mga hindi nakaabot, no? O, or, yeah, hindi nakapakinig sa ating kanina ng end of day and ngayon lang nakatutok sa market. ba? Diba? So, ayan. Simulan muna natin, no? PSEI was up kanina, 43 points or 0.63%. Okay? So, we are now back at 6,870 level. Yung nga lang, hindi pa rin nabibit once again yung 6,900. Value turnover, nasa around roughly 5 billion, no? Which is very thin pa rin compared to our normal uh, volume na nasa 7.9 billion, no? Uh, since the start of the year. Advancers are taking the lead 122 versus 69 while unchanged remains at 53. We are net foreign sell today of about 100 million pesos, no? And on the sectors, kung mapapansin natin dito sa baba, yan. So everyone is green except for financial sector. No? So sila yung mga down ngayong araw na to. 
Okay. Now, sa stat sheets, uh, let's go to the worst loser for first. Uh, makikita natin dito si MBC with uh, na down kanina ng 7.58 points. Followed by Ever. Yun. Si Ever kahapon, Monday at saka today, down siya. No? So, down siya kanina ng minus 6%. Pero kita nyo naman, grabe yung trades niya kanina, 5,000 with a value turnover of about 261 million. No? So mukhang nagkaipitan na roon sa taas, <laughs> unfortunately, doon sa mga may hawak kay Ever. Uh, apart from that, uh, we saw also si CDC, si Win, ALHI, MJIC, and the rest. Okay? On the top gainers naman, eto. Medyo interesting no dahil uh, something new came up today no uh, sorry uh, when i say something new is uh, it's a stock na hindi natin napapansin tas biglang umarangkada siya ngayong araw na to and this is si Swift SFI no uh, up siya kanina ng around 18.57% kita nyo naman yung trades oh halimaw din sa trades maliit lang yung value turnover pero yung number of trades nagbabadya na siya. Okay? Followed by SFIP, SLI, GMA7, ayun din, which is also a good thing, no? Kasi this is another all-time high for GMA7. At uh, kung ilan man or kung ano man yung naging high niya kanina. Pero basically, nag-close siya at plus 8.66%. Followed by Davin, Mab, ACX, IMP, and the rest. Ayan. So basically, yon ang naging kalakaran ng market natin kaninang hapon or kaninang tanghali, no? So ayan. Before I go to the que- sa Q&A natin, no, silipin ko lang muna dito sa comment section baka may mga uh, baka may mga tanong or yung mga hindi ko nabati kanina. Uh, let's have a quick check, no? <coughs> Excuse me. Ayan. Sana ba ako? So, ulit, batiin ko lang, no? Hello, Jingle, Marco, Lenore, Rowena, Gon, Gloria, uh, Jackson. Ayun, nandito ka rin pala sa, sa Facebook. <laughs> uh, Lee, hello sa'yo. Good evening. Uh, Joshua, sir, kapag natapos yung masterclass, may susunod naman ng batch. Uh, yes, no? Uh, magkakaroon ako ng another batch, pero... Uh, kasi ang, ang gagawin ko ganito, no? after the, the first batch, starting this coming Sunday, it will run kasi in 5 to 6 weeks. 5 to 6 weeks. Ganon siya katagal. Okay? But then again, ang promise ko naman doon is of course, siksik na ano yun, na, na masterclass siya. Hindi siya pucho-pucho lang na, na webinar. <laughs> Okay? So, after that, pahinga lang ng konti, tapos pag-iisipan ko kung uh, kailan ulit yung next na na batch. Okay? So, yung next na batch, uh, most likely, I'll, I'll do the same. No? Uh, uh, I'll take up, syempre, uh, ang focus ko doon is, of course, to provide it for free. Pero, pinag-iisipan ko pa lang sa ngayon, ah, uh, na baka mag-open up ako ng few slots doon for uh, para sa mga paid participants. No. Yun eh kung meron lang naman. Okay? Kasi yung next batch natin will be very limited na. Ngayon, uh, hinayaan ko na na medyo marami tayo kasi nga first time pa lang naman. So sige, sabi ko, let's do it nang medyo maayos. And uh, tingnan ko din no kung kung paano yung magiging reception ng mga magjo-join in sa atin. And um, I'll do some tweaks from here and there para yung second run eh mas efficient 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 okay so ayun uh, ngayon bakit may bayad na eh bakit yung first batch wala <laughs> okay uh ulitin ko no yung sa second batch natin there will still be free slots meron pa rin hindi mawawala yon okay uh, naisip ko lang na magkaroon ng payment doon sa pangalawa dahil uh, at least in my in my experience building up this one, sobrang time-consuming and sobrang lak- ang laki ng effort. Kung napansin ninyo, there are some days, di ba, nung nakaraan na hindi ako nakapag either end of day or walang stock when tuhan kasi either I'm busy sa work or I'm also busy building up yung yung buong lahat ng modules natin. No? So, ayan. Okay. 
CSR, sir, pwede po ba after masterclass ay may upload po agad para hindi naman kami mahuli sa teachings. Um, I'll try my best, ha? I'll try my best. Pero remember, no, uh, ang gagawin ko, sa, ko kasi dyan is uh, i-edit ko pa silang lahat. Okay, kasi di ba uh, for the masterclass kasi parang ganito yan, no? Tuloy-tuloy it's live para doon sa mga participants. Now, uh, ang gagawin ko doon, i-edit ko yung iba papaikliin ko para and then we will I'll create siguro mga around mga 5 to 6 minutes na mga snippets no, ng mga videos saka ko siya i-upload. So and of course that takes time. Ayun. Okay, okay. So, ayan. Ngayon, let me go back sa ating slido. Uh, let's have our Q&A na. And then, silipin natin no, kung ano ang mga tanong dito. Ayan. So, again, doon sa mga kaka-join in pa lang, uh, if you wanted to ask questions, ito lamang po, joinslido.com. Tapos, code natin is stocksilog. Okay? Join the question. So, so far, I can see around... Nine questions dito sa ating uh, sa ating poll. Okay. So, first up, sabi rito, uh, head and shoulders po ba yung PES or pullback yung kanina? Si PES. Head and shoulders nga ba or pullback? Let's have a quick check. No? PES. Ay, Sorry naman. Ayan. Head and shoulders. Tama ba? Yun yung tanong. Head and shoulders? Mm. No. Hindi siya head and shoulders. Kasi if it's head and shoulders, mukhang na-validate na, ah, na-invalidate na yung, ano eh, yung pattern eh. Teka ha, hanapin ko lang. Kasi, ito yung nakikita ko, no? Ganun ko yun, ha? Now, if I try to duplicate that, so parang ganyan. Hmm. O nga, no? Possible siya. possible siya. Kasi kung ganito yung titingnan natin uh, uh, in terms of head and shoulders, no? So, basically, ang lalim kasi nung ano eh. Ngayon. So, the next niya ay paganto na. And that will be yan yung magiging completion ng head and shoulders. No? Uh, again, no? Uh, pero kung, uh, again, uh, uh, as a trader, no? kung ako titingin na ito, I would not consider this as head and shoulders pa muna. Okay? Although there is that seemingly pattern of a head and shoulders, pero for now, I would not care muna if it is a, a head and shoulders pattern or or hindi pa. No? Kasi rem- remember, itong si, uh, bakit nga ba nagkaroon ng ano to? Dahil sa SRO. ba? Diba? So basically, may catalyst. Kaya siya, kaya siya umaangat. No? And kung titingnan natin in terms of uh, support and resistance lang, then, wala eh. Kung sakasakali, technically, untog siya on this mark sa 7900 Okay So ay sorry may nakaharang pala Hihihi Ikaw ha paano ko tatanggalin to Yan ayan okay sorry naman Ayan Yeah but essentially uh, yeah ito yung for me ah instead of head and shoulders I would just simply look at it on a support and resistance na support and resistance na tawag ito na chart and 
ito na agad yung bumugod sa, bumungad sa akin eh. No? Potential untog doon sa 7,300. Okay? Next. Uh, yung follow-up doon is kung pullback yung kanina, no. It's not a pullback. Kasi usually pullback uh, is galing yun ng ano eh, ng, ng breakout, no? Although, kung ano, eh, hindi rin eh. Kasi my breakout should be above 7,900. Yun yung, ini, yun yung nakikita ko as the breakout. Pero it didn't happen kasi. Okay. So, okay na yung part na yan. Next, uh, your thoughts about GFC's recent disclosure pertaining to joint venture you with Yoshinoya. Okay. Ito yung sa ano, no? Uh, they had a 50-50 joint venture for Yoshinoya. So basically, JFC or Jollibee, no? uh, Jollibee Corp, uh, nagkaroon sila ng joint venture with Yoshinoya to develop the or to expand Yoshinoya brand dito sa Philippines. Okay? So uh, if I'm not mistaken, they are um, looking at around... Uh, Uh, building 50 more, no? 50, 5-0, 50 more uh, restaurants ng Yoshinoya dito sa Philippines. So, 50-50 ito, no? Uh, with JFC and Yoshinoya International Philippines. Okay? Ngayon, uh, my thought on this one, um, kay Anonymous, sorry ah, kasi this one is already a news way back in February. February pa siya, no? So, may ano ba? May changes ba? Or may, sorry, may disclosure ba? About it? Ah, ayun. So, merong amendment. Anong amendment na, may, na nangyari sa kanya? Ay, eto yung sinasabi ko, no? So, 50-50 joint venture... Mm-hmm. Profit sharing. Ano yung am- amendment? Parang wala naman. I mean, walang, walang relevant, no? Na, ibig sabihin by relevant is that wala akong nakikita so far, ha? Sa mga sa nabasa ko dito, wala akong nakita na kumbaga, eh, major change doon sa na report way back noong February. Okay? So, yeah. Okay. Meron ba siya naging meron ba siya magiging effect kay uh, kay Jollibee? Well, since wo, hindi naman siya ganung kalaking issue or ganung kalaking catalyst, so I don't see it as um uh, I don't see it to be impactful para sa stock ni ni Jollibee. So let's have a quick check ano nangyari. Okay, so Jollibee was up 2.08 kanina. Okay, so medyo maganda yung naging reception sa kanya, no? Pero yeah, uh, hindi ko pa rin, uh, again, <laughs> nandun pa rin ako sa part na hindi ko pa rin siya nakikita as a major catalyst. No? Yan. So I hope I was able to answer this question here. Yan, okay. Uh, well po sa finalist na included sa mga ah okay ay sige so eto ah this is now on the master class no kasi uh, number one ganito kasi, ganito kasi mangyayari no so first one is to identify muna yung mga mga kasali doon sa um, doon sa master class so that's number one okay and uh, pinopost ko naman siya regularly di ba sa, sa page number two doon sa mga ma, ma, mapipili you have to register. Kasi kailangan ko yung data ninyo para maibenta ko. Hindi, joke lang. <laughs> kailangan ko yung data ninyo para at least alam ko how I can, alam yon. paano ko makakustomize yung masterclass based sa magiging profiles ninyo. 
Okay. And yung isang importante doon is the email address kasi kailangan ko email address nyo para isesend ko doon yung invite. No? Kasi it will not be uh, it will not be live sa Facebook at saka sa YouTube eh. No? We will be using Microsoft Teams for that and private session siya. So kailangan ko yung email addresses nyo. Okay? Now, in terms of the invitation, tomorrow I'll be sending it out. Ayan. Uh, doon sa final listing, sige, I can make a final listing tomorrow. No? Pero basically, ganito. Kung may na-receive, kung kasama kayo doon sa mga pinopost ko noong mga nakaraang araw, then that means pasok kayo. Pero kung hindi kayo nag, uh, kung pasok man kayo, pero hindi kayo nag-register, then wala rin. Diba? So make sure if you were selected, mag-ano rin kayo, mag-register din. Okay? So, ayan. Next is, uh, tutupo ba na ang SFI daw, ang bagong AR, possible daw na? <laughs> okay. Uh, then, nat- natawa lang ako sa ganitong klase ng ano, no? I'm not sure kung sino nagsabi nito or if it's true or not. Pero ako again, ito uh, lang si- ang lagi kong sinasabi sa inyo, di ba? Uh, wala ako kasi bo- wala kasi akong bolang kristal uh, unlike sa iba na meron no so pero if you wanted to believe yung mga speculations nila then so be it no wala namang problema sa akin yon it's just that i really cannot comment on something that i really don't know okay so with SFI na magpapossible 1000% uh, it might be true it might be not but still i'm not interested Okay, uh, so hanggang doon lang muna, no? Uh, I'm really not, not interested on on that kind. Kahit mag 10 million percent pa yan, I still don't I still don't care. <laughs> Why? Kasi ganito ano, uh, number one, it is not my play. Okay? Uh, as far as I know, bulls I trader limited lang alam ko sa kanya ha, pero it appears na more on day trading yung ginagawa nila or niya and that's not my forte okay I'm a classic uh, swing trader and yung mga gantong klase ng mga speculation that doesn't play out sa mga swing traders kaya kung maga hindi bagay ba diba? so ayun kaya wala mm, no idea and no care ganun na lang <laughs> and next uh, your thoughts on emirate is it a, uh, is it a buy well i will buy yun na lang uh, i'll buy kasi nga di ba alam niyo naman i i always buy ipos and especially it is a rit then i'll definitely buy emirate i'll buy yung rlc na rit i'll buy the vll na rit Okay? So, I do plan to do that. Okay? Why the hell I plan to do those on a long term? No? Long term, high dividend portfolio yung dinidevelop. Yung uh, pinopondohan ko sa ngayon. No? So, ginagawa ko every time na nagka-profit ako on my short term trades, I immediately withdraw those uh, those funds. Tapos, i-fund ko na yon doon sa Uh, dun sa REIT fund ko or sa REIT portfolio ko so that I have something there. No? Uh, pang-ipon. Accumulation kasi talagang ang, ang play ko sa mga long terms eh. So, ayan. Okay. So, I, I hope I was able to answer your question. Next. Uh, tuloy po ba ang Start Masterclass this uh, Sunday, 3 p.m. Will it be the same day, same time? For all the sessions, uh, it will be Sunday. Yes, but it's 6 p.m. Okay, 6 p.m. siya, 3 hours. Okay, 6 p.m., 3 hours. Uh, will it be the same for all the sessions? Yes, it, it will be. Okay, yan. Next, uh, SMPH, sir, thoughts? Consolidation pa rin ba or may chance na ito mag-break? Kung chance ng pag-uusapan, again, there is always a chance. Pero the likelihood of it, then it would depend kung ano ang itsura ng kanyang chart. No? So, let's have a quick check, SMPH. 
Okay, so SMP siya si consolidation siya, no? Gumagawa siya actually ng flag pattern. Okay? Ayun, actually, naka-ano na rin pala siya. No? Uh, flag pattern dito sa part na to. Now, what is a flag pattern? Flag pattern is basically a continuation pattern. A bullish continuation pattern. Okay? So, what that means is, once na itong 38 pesos ma-break sa resistance, then my expectation is that it will still continue to go up. Most likely, yeah, hanggang dito. Hanggang around 43 pesos. No? Uh, that is just following yung, yung concept ng flag pattern. Okay? Kailan siya mag-break? Hindi ko alam. Dahil again, wala akong bolang crystal. <laughs> Ayan. Next. Sir, sa long-term stocks, uh, say loss muna na more than 15%, may cut loss din po ba kayo? Or you buy lang to, an, to average down? Okay. So, uulitin ko ah. Um, when I do kasi my long-term port, I go with high dividends. No? And then, I accumulate. So, yun talaga yung core ko on my long term. Okay? Now, uh, as I have mentioned before, usually, nag-average down ako if it's still interesting. No? Kasi technically, paano ko ba siya explain? Ganito, no? uh, I do PCA, peso cost averaging sa mga long term stocks ko. Okay? So, that means every month, bumibili ako sa kanila. No? Now, uh, kailan ako magka-cut dun sa mga long-term ko? Dito na papasok ang fundamentals. If I see na there are, at least yung criteria ko ha, three straight quarters na down yung, yung profit nila and the company cannot really explain what's going on, then mag-uumpisa na akong mag, uh, mag-take profit dun sa mga yon or mag-cut kung ano man, regardless kung ano yung, kung up man siya or, or down. Doon lang. Imagine na, three quarters, that means, ilan yun? Uh, three, six, nine months. So, nine months kung minomonitor yung long-term po, yung long-term stock ko. Just to be sure na, okay, uh, it's not going well. And I have to pull out na. No? Kasi when I, uh, eventually when I decide na it's time for me to to take profit on that long-term port, that means I am now foreseeing or at least I am now seeing na yung long-term prospect ng stock na to is not good anymore. So I have to reposition my my portfolio to another stock. Ganun yung ginagawa ko. No? So, ayun. I hope I was able to answer your question, uh, Lori. It seems that many stocks that are descending triangle or downtrending are now breaking out. How do we detect these stocks are uh, are just copycat of uptrending stocks? Descending to it lang ha. It seems that many stocks that are descending triangle or downtrending are now break out. Mm, teka, medyo nag- naguluhan ako dun sa part na yun eh. Um So, a descending triangle is like this. No? Flat yung baba. Okay. And then, ganto siya. No? This is a descending triangle. And ang bias na itong part na to is going down. Okay. Kaya nga siya descending, no? So, it is a, um, a, a bearish pattern. Okay? Now, uh, medyo naguluhanan lang ako doon sa sinabi mo na break out. Kasi ito, saan ba yun? Ayan. So, say mo rito, um, descending triangle or downtrending are now break out. Okay? Now, kasi when you say break out, my impression of a break out is this. Okay? Breakout kasi usually happens when the resistance is broken. 
Okay? Now, on a descending triangle kasi, the resistance is this one. etong diagonal na to. No? So, ayun. Maganda sana kung nakapagbigay ka ng, exa- ng specific, ano, no? Ng specific na, na, <coughs> na stock so we can check in actuality. Kasi pag ganito, baka, alam nyo yun, either hindi ko lang siya nagigets yung ibig nyo sabihin, uh, and baka iba yung mabigay kong answer. No? So, ayun. And then, sabi rito, how do we detect these stocks are just copycat of uptrending stocks? Hmm. <laughs> Sorry ah, kasi uh, medyo naguluhan lang ako. Uh, yung doon sa mga ginagawit mo kasing terms, medyo ano sila, parang salabat. Sa ano yung hindi tugma, parang ganun. Kaya nag, medyo naguluhan ako. Now, kung sino man yung nagtanong dito, if you can give a the stock, yung co, yung which particular stock you're, you're referring to, baka mas ma, magets ko kung ano ibig sabihin. Okay? So, ayan. I, ano ko muna to? Close out ko muna. May, huma, may biglang lumipad sa taas na ano eh. Sabi rito, ano po advice nyo sa kagaya ko na trader from 100k naging 18k na lang. Newbie pa lang ako at utang pa yung 100k. Akala ko kasi kumikita araw-araw sa stocks. Okay. Number one, eto lang. I hope you learned your lesson. Okay. Pagdating sa investment, sa trading, hindi ka dapat nangungutang. Dahil again, merong risk. Okay? But I hope na you have learned that lesson sa ngayon. Okay? Now, uh, ano pa maging advice niyo sa kagaya ko na 100k na naging 18k? So basically, uh, I really don't care kung saan ka nagaling. What, uh, what matters to me right now is what you have today and kung saan mo siya gagamitin for the future. Okay? There's really no point in, alam yun, dealing with what you had before, <laughs> with the past. Diba? So now, uh, at least on your question, What do you need to do on your 18,000? Well, at least uh, based lang dito sa, sa sa question mo, my general assumption is that you're a newbie na konti pa lang ang ano mo sa market. Okay? So, at 18,000, what I'll do, I'll continue trading. But this time around, make sure you have a trade plan. Okay? Now, when you have a trade plan, So, when you have, ay, ano pala? Ito na lang. So, when you have a trade plan, make sure na meron kang, uh, ano yan eh, entry, target price, or TP. Bakit hindi siya gumagana? So, entry, target price and at loss price. Okay? So, dapat laging meron yan. Okay? Never go into a position without a trade plan or else you're, you're just wasting money. Nagtatapong ka lang ng pera. Okay? Now, yung 18,000, if you do this, ang next question, if you do this trade plan, Does that mean yung 18,000 mo lalago? Answer to that is no. Dahil lahat tayo dito, we are dealing with the same risk. Na pwedeng lumipad, pwedeng bumagsak ang ang presyo. But what's different that but what's different this time around is that meron ka ng plano. Okay? And please, please focus on this. Focus on this. Don't focus too much on the profit. Okay? Isa, isa yan sa pinaka isa siya sa pinaka cliche na sinasabi ng mga experienced trader but trust me yun yung pinaka pinaka importante. The moment you you focus on the profit and not on the process trust me you will not uh, hindi ka abot ng one year sa trading. 
So please focus on the process, not on the profit. Next. Anong maging effect ng MSA rebalancing sa stocks? Tama po ba na if ma-include na isang stock sa index ay tataas vice versa? Okay. Anong magiging effect nito? Basically, more on marketing. Marketing lang siya. No? Kasi imagine MSCI index, yung mga indices na nandoon, just imagine you are in a classroom, sila yung mga top 10. No? Sila yung top 10 of the top 10 ng class. So, once mapasok ka dun sa top 10 na yun, syempre, makikilala ka ng mga tagalabas. Taga ibang section, taga maybe ibang ibang school, uh, ibang grade level. Okay? Kaya nasabi ko na marketing. Okay? And usually, sa mga ganon, dun pumapasok ang mga foreign. So, kung, ma- kung mapapansin niyo yung mga major indices sa mga MSCI or FTSE, nagkakaroon ng short term na paglipad ng presyo dahil nun doon no okay pero it, it is not sustainable ah. and besides hindi na makasi ganong kadami ang foreign natin dito eh okay so ayun siya ah, medyo binibilisan ko lang ah, kasi dumadami yung mga questions din eh <laughs> possible po ba na bumaba ang offer price ni sa SRO ni, ni PES, uh, bumaba ang offer price sa SRO ni PES. Okay, clarify ko lang tong part na to. Wala pang final pricing. So, hindi ko alam kung ano yung bababa. Okay, kung nakita ninyo na nakaraan for for PES, ang nakalagay doon was, pakita lang natin ha, para ma-highlight ko. SRO. Ayan. Offer price up to up to So ibig sabihin it could be 0.000001 <laughs> kung gusto man niya hanggang piso. Kailan natin malalaman to? Wala pa. Kasi wala pa rin yung mga dates. Okay? So ayun. Next. Peso ko, peso ko sa averaging ni Pubastrat nyo for long term, yes. Especially sa, ano ko, sa high dividend port. Okay? Kasi sa high dividend port ko, nag-accumulate talaga ako ng shares. No? Shares yung habol ko, hindi yung price. To be honest, minsan wala akong pakialam sa, sa, sa price eh. Nag-ano lang ako, uh, sinasalang ko lang siya. Bili lang ako ng bili every month. Paano po mag-register and join the masterclass? Check the pinned post. Okay. Uh, meron ba ako, uh, meron naman po akong trade plan, pero lagi na lang hit sa cut loss, hindi sa target price. Sa ever kasi ako at BH, ouch, yun lang. Okay. Thank you for pointing this out, ha? Okay. Now, um, having a trade plan is actually, ngayon ko lang na-realize, no? Um, Sa trade plan kasi, number one, it's good thing that you are following your trade plan. Kasi sabi mo kanina rito, uh, pag bumili ako, bumaba, nagka-cut. Pag-cut, tumataas. Diba? So, ibig sabihin, you're, you're following your trade plan, so that's good. Uh, I think what you are, ano dito, what you are missing here is yung selecting nung, nung stock which stock to to buy no and yung magiging ano ko rito yung magiging advice ko sa yo ha on this one wala ayun bigla lang nag hit kasi ng ano sa taas so ito andito pa rin tayo ayan um ang magiging tip ko sa yo ganito no on on weekend do your watch list. Okay? So, ibig ko sabihin doon is, you should have first your, ano, favorite setup muna. Favorite setup. 
no? Once you have the setup, then you can now filter yung mga stocks kung alo, kung alin doon yung pasok sa setup mo. No? Why why is that important? Kasi yung yung part na yon, doon mo kasi makikita kung paano mo ma-execute ng maayos yung trade plan mo. Kumbaga naka ano eh, dugtong-dugtong kasi yan. No? I have no idea kung ano ang motivation mo bakit ever NBH ay yung binili mo. I don't know that information. But at least at the back of my head, ang naiisip ko mukhang na-hype ka. I could be wrong ha, uh, kasi hindi mo naman sinabi. But that is what's kumbaga what's what I'm thinking right now. Kasi hindi yan madalas na pinipili. Especially ng mga ng mga experienced na traders. Okay? So think about those things. Okay? Uh, what can you say about Asia Sec acquiring 1.49 billion of 1.14 billion of SMP based on stock jacky. Ah okay. Uh Asia Sec acquiring 1.49 billion pesos how worth tama no? Worth of SMPH. Mm, nothing. Kasi in the first place SMPH is a, a blue chip stock. So that means Marami talaga magiging interesado sa kanya. Nagkataon lang siguro na si Asia Sec yung isa sa malaki, no? But uh, siguro my tip there is teka ha. Do I still have uh, um, Today ba yung yung ano, yung 1. Point something billion? Hindi naman eh. Uh, value 214 so hindi ko alam kung gaano katagal yung yung 1.49 billion na yan ah. I have no idea kanina ba? wala din eh so baka nag-iipon lang talaga siya So, again, wala ako masasabi dyan dahil I have no idea. And to be honest, in, in, I, I really don't care kung sino yung bumibili. I can monitor that, ha? Uh, some, at least in in the past, I've been monitoring yung mga ganyan, mga jockey plays. No? Pero hindi ako masyadong ma... At least based on my experience, it doesn't really give me a lot of data to work on. <clears throat> Kapag gumipili po kasi ako ng stock, ay tinignan ko ang pinakamadaming trade at volume ng malaki ang price is below at... Okay. Okay, dokey. Yung minensyo mo rito, no? Uh, trade and volume. This is a characteristic of a day trader. Kasi yan yung magiging ano nila. Isa yan sa main characteristic kung paano sila pumipili ng stock. And then, below 1 peso. Yeah. Okay. Sige. Ganito, no? My advice to you, ganito. Uh, pasensya na if hindi kita agad matutulungan sa ganito, no? Kasi looking at this one, mukhang ang profile na pinapollow mo is a day trader. And I'm, unfortunately, I'm not a day trader. As I've mentioned, I'm a swing trader. No? I may have some knowledge about day trading, pero hindi ako biasa doon. So, ayoko magbigay ng, ng false information or unverified information. Okay, kasi para ka magtatanong, uh, kunwari isa akong doktor, bakit ako magbibigay sa iyo ng ng law advice kung hindi naman ako lawyer? Parang ganon, no? So siguro ang maging suggestion ko sa iyo, 
look for mga magagaling na mga day traders instead. And check with them. Uh, baka mabigyan ka nila ng maganda, mas akma na na advice kung paano pwede ka mag-start. Okay? So, ayun na lang. Kasi ako as a, as a swing trader, if you've been following my my end of day or my daily my daily na na market recap, I always hit. Uh, I really don't care kung puma, kung umabot man si Ever ng piso, I will not trade it. 'Di ba? So that's the reason why I'm a, hindi kasi siya pasok. Hindi siya hindi siya pasok doon sa profile ko as a trader. Okay? So ayan. Same day and same time po ba lagi ang masterclass? Yes. 6 p.m. every Sunday. Pwede ba ako magkaroon ng idea sa elimination process? Uh, not yet. I'll explain that in detail on Sunday, on our day one. Sa broker po, in the table of bid and ask volume uh, and price sa end of day, how do you analyze it for tomorrow's potential trade? Thank you. Okay. Uh, this is a good question. No? Sige, ganito. Uh, kanina titignan ko to, no? pero I think this is a good opportunity to to check. So, I'll take uh, si SFI. Okay. Now, uh, on the bid and ask table, if we try to divide itong part na to, The bid part here, this is, these are the buyers. This is the, ito yung tipong ano, uh, gusto kong bumili, no? I'm willing to buy SFI at 16, at point sixteen sixty. Yun yun. Versus the ask na seller naman. So kung halimbawa meron akong hawak na SFI, gusto kong magbenta at sixteen seventy. Okay, so yun yung main difference. Now, yung volume is eto naman yung number of order, ah, sorry, number of shares na gustong bilhin or gustong ibenta. Okay, now kung halimbawang mas mabigat ang nasa bid volume, ibig sabihin nun, mas marami yung gustong bumili at a, at a big volume, then that tells me na by tomorrow, there is a Watch out for the term na gagamitin ko, ha? This means that tomorrow, there is a good chance that SFI will open higher. Open higher than 1660. Okay? So, yun yung, doon ko siya ginagamit. No? And also, this is also a measure of uh, the uh, potential momentum kung meron pa siyang volume. Okay? Now, kung nasa other side naman din, syempre, um, kabalik tara nun. So, it it could open lower. Okay? Ang indication lang na dalawang to at end of day or at closed, no, is kung ano yung potential na magiging opening price niya tomorrow. Yun lang. Pero yung magiging end of day or yung closing price niya tomorrow, Unfortunately, hindi mo siya ma- ma-identify by just looking at the bid and ask table. Okay? So, ayan. Tapos, to be here. Sir, ano po kayang pinakaginagamit mong indicator? Ayan, pakita ko yung indicator ko sa'yo. <laughs> ayan. Horizontal lines. And moving average. That's it. Ganun lang. Moving average and uh, horizontal lines. Uh, sometimes you will see me on the FIBO. No? From time to time. Yan. Bakit yung ginagamit yung mga indicators? Simple, dahil doon ako komportable. Okay? Uh, hindi dahil sa yun yung best indicators. Walang ganun. Indicators are just tools. Remember that. Tools lang yan. Gagami, mga ginagamit mo. Nasa skill mo pa rin yan nasa trader. Okay? This is similar doon sa mga nag-grab ngayon. Sa mga nag-grab, gumagamit sila ng ways. 
So Waze is just a tool to help them navigate through Metro Manila or kung saan mang lupalop ng ng bansa yan. No? Pero kung hindi ka marunong gumamit ng Waze, then your Waze is basically useless. Diba? Nasa skill mo pa rin yan as a driver, for example. Kung paano ka makakarating doon sa part na yun. So same thing on, the, on trading. Next, uh, kasama mo pa talaga kung kasama po ba ang paano mag-day trade sa masterclass or swing lang talaga. I will show some of the things that I know on day trading, more on concept and some practical applications. No? Kasi sa masterclass, I will show everything that I know and then let you choose which path to go. Okay? So, yun yung magiging approach ko on the masterclass. Uh, balikan nyo yung video natin dati, dito dati on how to pick stocks. Doon na-discuss yung process. Ah, okay. Yeah. Kaso hindi ko na nga rin malala. Anong date yun? <laughs> Medyo may katagalan na. Uh, last question. Do you consider SFI like ever stock? No. No. Uh, bakit hindi? Kasi ako, uh, for me, all stocks are created differently. No? And kung paano siya lalaro ng market is iba-iba din. No? Some would say, bakit mo i-compare yung SFI kay Ever? Why not ever i-compare it to AR? Why not ever compare it to Dito? Diba? So, kumbaga, uh, ma- my point here is treat every stocks as unique as it goes. No, ang pwede mong pagayahan is kung paano mo siya i-trade. If you are more on the momentum side, then go with it. Kesa sa pipiliin mo kung ano lang yung stock. Unfortunately, it's a, it's the it's the other way around. Okay. And then may backtest po ba today? Wala po. Uh, on Thursday, we will. Okay. Uh, I think naubos ko na yung nasa Slido natin. Now, let me go sa ating... Siguro pipili lang ako mga 2 to 3 dito sa comment box no? na I can I can answer. Oh, ang dami na rin pala rito. Sorry ah. Joy Boy, meron pa din po bang stock kwentuhan pag nag-start na yung session? Yes. Meron pa rin. Hindi mawala yun. Uh, may date na po ba yung parating na rate? Wala pa. Cesar, sa rate po ba if just 45% dividend, is this considered okay na po ba for long-term dividend? For me, that's totally fine. 4 to 5% dividend. Yep. I'm okay with those. No. Uh, but then for some, siguro it might not be that big enough for them. But for me kasi okay na ako dun eh. No? Uh, pero there are, I, I still think that there are some stocks no, na, that can provide more than 4 to 5% dividend per year. Uh, some of them are, of course, GMA7. Um, also, si um, SCC. And then... Um, SPC. Those are the three stocks na at least in the past several years na nakikita ko na relatively good or better no, uh, in giving long term uh, sorry, in giving out dividends. Uh, and then last na lang mm, <laughs> Uh, pa, 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 pa. Oh, ito na lang. Pigla mo masok din dito eh. Sabi ni Lenor, good question. Uh, ano bang maganda? Pagsabayin or stick to one lang? My suggestion, stick to one muna. Focus on one. 
and then expand. No? Uh, isa sa mga napapansin ko na madalas ginagawa ng mga newbie is that, alam nyo yun, papalit-palit ng strategy, papalit-palit ng, ng, ng trade plan. Okay? Uh, one, one main reason is, be, is dahil very impatient. Okay? Now, uh, dito sa, ito lang ha, at least in my, ex, in my experience, hindi dahil kumita ka sa, sa specific strategy na ginamit mo for the past, let's say, three months, eh, magiging effective na rin siya in the next 10 to 20 years. No, it doesn't work that way. Strategies, kung ano man yung gagamitin mo, it takes time. No, It takes time for you and your mindset and your discipline para mag-connect-connect lahat. How much time? Years. Okay, that's, that's years. So, is there a way para ma-fast track ko siya? If I don't have five years to spend just tro- uh, just troubleshooting or testing, yes, there is. And that is by frequently trading a setup na gusto mong ma-master. Okay? Pero, unfortunately, you cannot master it in just three months. The minimum na feeling ko na ma-master mo siya, at the very least, 12 months. Ganun katagal. Okay? So, we'll see, you know? We'll see how you would, uh, how you would, uh, if you have that stamina, if you have that durability to stay on the market for 12 months. To master just a single trading setup. Because I believe, yun yung mga talaga nagsasucceed. Yung mga talaga nagpa-profit. Yung mga tipong, alam mo yun, kahit tulog sila, bigyan mo sila ng ganitong problema, they can they can trade it efficiently, effectively. Okay? So, yan. Uh, yan muna yung sa ngayon, ha. Uh, I think medyo marami na rin tayong napag-usapan, no, in terms of uh, mga Q&As natin. So, for now, I'd like to go into ano tayo? Uh, tawag dito? Stock review. Okay? So, again, ha, uh, on our stock review, Gagamitin ulit natin ang Slido as usual. Sana ba ako? Ayan. So, ito po yung ating Slido. Uh, once again, go to slido.com tapos uh, stock si log and then you can post here yung stock code na gusto ninyong um, i-review natin. No? So, I'll post uh, for stock Review. Ayan. 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 Uh, pinost ko na siya ulit. Ayan. Sige. I'll give uh, siguro one more minute para dun sa mga gustong humabol. Okay? Inom lang muna ako saglit. Medyo napapaos na ako. <laughs> so, teka lang ha. Sige, one minute lang guys ha. Uh, I'll, I'll let you, ano. Nisip ko, ano, ano masarap na ulam ngayon or mamaya. Nakapag merienda na ako eh, pero for some reason parang iniisip ko maguguto mo ulit ako mamaya mga after ng session natin eh. Yung mga tipong pang midnight snack, uh, 10, 11 p.m. na ano, nakainan. Hmm. Or pa-deliver na lang ulit, no? Ang hirap pag uh, Ang hirap talaga no pagkatamad. <laughs> pagtamad. Nawawala ng ano. <laughs> Ay nako, oh, lots. Okay, doki. So so far, ayan, uh, nag uh, nag-iiba-iba ang ating mga uh, ano. Oh, uh, sige, we will try to to check them out one by one. Most likely, hindi ko mauubos lahat, no? Pero at least, siguro naman yung mga parts na na madalas ninyong i-request, eh, 
ma'am, pa-prioritize natin for today? Uh, gusto ko rin sana yan, kaso yun na yung pananghalian ko kaninang ala sa is. So, uh, maiba naman. <laughs> Nagano ko kanina eh, long silog ako kanina, long ganisa. So, yan. Jollibee? Hmm. One piece burger chick, burger steak with, ano no, chicken? Oo, interesting. Pag-isipan ko nga yan. Oh, nice, LJ. Oo nga, no? Tapos yung hard-boiled egg mo, medyo malasado pa, di ba? Naglaway ako bigla. Nagutom na naman ako. <laughs> Ay naman, oo. Na, hindi, actually, ganito, no? Okay lang ako magluto. no? Uh, gusto ko magluto. Ang ayaw ko lang maghugas. <laughs> Ewan ko, for some reason, hate na hate ko talaga yung paghugas, eh. So... <laughs> Yeah. Okay, sige. Uh, ano na natin? Naguhutong na tuloy lalo ako. So, uh, sa, ano mo ta? Stock review tayo para, ano, matapos natin siya at maka-order na ako. <laughs> Ayan. Okay. Uh, prep ko lang muna, ha? Ayan. Okay. Uh, actually, andi dito rin yan, eh. Ayan, sa live polls. Ito yung, ano, yung parang visual ano yung word cloud tawag nila di ba word cloud pero for me to see them actually at the background ito yan yeah so SFI has 5 votes SLI 4 votes TBGA 4 votes votes so ganun sige so isa-isahin natin siya ha sige lang you can ano uh, nasa 58 pa rin naman tayo yan okay nahin muna natin syempre pinakamarami SFI. SFI since siya ang usong-uso kanina, no. Okay. So ulitin ko lang, no. So SFI is a Swift Foods Incorporated. So teka ha, meron ba siyang Ah, uh, saan 'yan? SFI I think meron naman siyang kita di ba? Ayan. So, meron naman. Ayan. Operational naman siya, no? Unlike kay, dun sa ibang mga napag-usapan natin ng currency na AR, yan, or si, even si Ever, di ba? Na non-operational. At least itong si SFI is operational naman, which is good. Ayan. So, with SFI, kanina lumam, lumipad siya, no? At around 18.57%. So, what should I do here? Uh, first up, technical wise, no, ang gagawin ko sa kanya, I'll set up my support and resistance. How do I do that? Simple. I start on the extremes. So, for example, uh, this is my top. Dito sa around 1680. No, 1680. Tapos, yung bottom ko naman is this one. Ayan. Nasa 0.0998. Okay. Now, ang next na step ko ginagawa dito is I try to check relevant ba ang ang FIBO sa chart ni SFI or not. So, I do that by simply adding FIBO and see kung nagmamatch yung oh my god, nag-reset na naman ang aking FIBO. Ay, nako. Inaayos ko na siya nung nakaraan but for some odd reason Uh, Ayan. Kasi usually ang ginagamit ko lang dyan is uh, 38.2, 61.8, 1 at saka 1.68. No? So madalas yun ang ginagamit ko. Tapos uh, I need my, label, my labels on the right. There you go. Okay. Ayun. Okay. Now, uh, when plotting FIBO, No, when plotting FIBO, ano yung importanteng part sa akin? The most important part is etong 61.8 at saka 38.2 na levels. Oh, di ba? Ano tayo? FIBO 101 tayo <laughs> uh, on plotting. Kasi ako naniniwala ako na not all charts, eh pwede mong lapatan ng FIBO. So, kailangan mapili ka din kung anong, kung anong chart, kung anong indicator ang gagamitin mo. No? So, for, fi- for FIBO, paano mo siya ma-identify? Simple lang. 
once you have plotted yung iyong FIBO, no, look for 38.2 at saka 61.8 and see kung nagkakaroon ng reversal doon sa dalawang yon. Okay? Anong ibig ko sabihin by reversal? Ito. Yan. Medyo nilakihan ko lang ha. Reversals. Toinks. Toinks. Dito sa 38.2 medyo mas marami. No? Yan. The more points na nagkakaroon, na nagre-reverse doon sa dalawang levels na to, the stronger yung effectiveness ng FIBO. Okay? Now, so, yun yung mga naging criteria ko. No? Now, how about my final assessment? Is this a FIBO good na na-stock? My answer to that is yes. It is. So, because of that, I'll save this one for my future reference. Okay? Yun nga lang, unfortunately, hindi siya applicable at this moment. No? Kasi, nasa tip na siya nung nung resistance. Or at least malapit na siya dun sa resistance. Di ba? Well, we can use this one as a support. Yung 1417. That can be a support. Pero until such time na bumaba ito, then wala pa. Okay. So now, what should, uh, anong pwede yung makuha dito? No? If I have SFI, okay, I'll watch out tomorrow. Okay? Especially on the end of day. If my end of day stock price is below 1680, I'll consider profit taking. Okay? Kasi baka mauntog siya dito sa area na to. Okay? Kaya ako na sabi na I'll consider profit taking. Okay? Now, what if for example instead na diyan siya mag-close, eh bigla nag-close above? Naging ganyan. Then, syempre, hold na lang yun. No? Again, ha, ito ay para dun sa mga may hawak ng SFI. Okay? Hold lang ako dyan kapag naging ganito yung itsura niya. Uh, ano ba to? Ay, yun lang. I was, I was asking sana kung, or I will be asking sana kung is this a all-time high pero hindi pala. Ayan. Okay. Now, kung wala naman akong SFI, okay pa bang humabol? My general answer to that is no. Okay? Dahil once again, I'm a swing trader and yun yung setup na ginagamit ko rito. Okay? So, ayan. As a swing trader, hindi siya maganda for na maghabol sa mga gantong klase ng lipara ng stock. Kung baga, hindi siya bagay. No, yun. I think yun yung masakma. Hindi, ba ba, hindi bagay yung mga big candles sa isang swing trading na setup. Kidoki. So, I hope I was able to explain this one well. No? Now, uh, saan ako maglalagay ng resistance when etong 16.80 ay mabasag tomorrow? Then, I look at the previous chart and try to find out no kung saan and ito na obvious na agad tong part na to oh. twenty two point twenty two ah uh, ganon pa siya kalake kung magtutoloy tuloy potentially more dirt, mga around thirty percent pa kung magtutoloy tuloy siya ha yun ang, madali, ang malaking kung or malaking if. Okay. So, ayan. Next. SLI. Santa Lucia? Hmm. Mukhang maraming pinalilipad ngayong mga panahon na to. Ha? Oh, 52? Ay, all time. Ah, okay. Akala ko all time high eh. Hindi pala. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Ayan. 
parang, teka lang ha. Hmm, okay. I thought magkakapin uh, handle siya pero mukhang hindi. Kasi na-break na agad eh. Na-break na agad yung 280. Okay, so next neto ay Grabe naman pala tong CSFI, ah CSLI noong panahon ng 1990s, no? This is, ano ah? Puro ceiling play, oh. Ceiling play upon ceiling play. Shoots! Wala pa ako sa ano neto, na ito, uh, mga around the 1990s. Wala pa ako sa stocks neto. Pero grabe, oh. Ceiling play upon ceiling play. Nice. Okay. Uh, ano nga pala yung tanong ko kanina? Uh, saan yung resistance nito? Ang layo kasi. Wala. Hmm. Ala, masyadong mahirap uh, ma- mahanapan ng ano to, ng resistance tong si uh, CSLI. Kasi ang tagal din eh, oh. More than 20 years yung next, no. Kapag ganto, uh, pag ganun yung katagal yung previous na na all-time high, sometimes I I I already consider this as a new all-time high. No? Medyo siguro technically hindi. Pero because of the length of time, I would consider it na rin. No? So, yeah. Most likely, ganun gagawin ko rito. If I have SLI. No? Walang resistance. So, abang-abang. No? Until such time na kaya niyang basagin tong part na to. Uh, initially kasi 280, di ba? Tapos, uh, pwede ko maglagay dito ng cut loss point. Sa 3 pesos. Okay, so kung meron akong SLI, I'll hold. I'll set my cut loss at 3 pesos. Pero kung wala akong SLI, I'll wait sa 280. Uh, TBGI. Ano meron kay TBGI? Oh. Interesting. Okay, for TBGI, no, uh, at 0.47, kasi ang range ko sa kanya is between 41.20 hanggang 6395 or 6400 no eh kanina nasa 0.47 lang siya so relatively good or okay ish no so kung meron akong hawak na TBGI I'll hold pero I'll set my cut loss still doon sa 4120 or 4130 okay while kung wala naman akong hawak na TBGI mm Again, pass. <laughs> pass ako kay TBGI na kung halimbawa wala akong hawak. Kasi number one, uh, chart-wise, medyo mahirap siyang tansyahin uh, yung sa range niya itself. Masyadong volatile. di ba? Next, uh, MRC. Oh, 9.23 na pala. Sige, bibilisan ko na. Kidoki. So for MRC no, ang range ko is between 29.85 hanggang 52.75. Okay? At 0.4 kanina, I'll hold. Okay? I'll hold pero I'll set my cut loss at 3400. Tama ba? Or 34 30.35 pala. Ang hirap naman. O basta, ayan. Area na yan, 0.35. <laughs> Cut loss lang yan, no? Kung wala naman akong hawak na MRC, mag-aabang pa rin ako, no? Pero saan? Dito, sa 29.85. Doon ako mag-aabang sa kanya. Okay? So, ayun. Ngayon, kung may, ayun pa pala, uh, gusto lang idagdag, no? Check this MA200 line. Mukhang dumadagdag siya sa resistance na MRC. Ayan yun. 
solid yung ginagawa niya ng ano support and resistance sa stock kapag nasa taas siya ng ano ng candlestick then this is na the resistance the moment na mag-break ang ganda ng lipad niya no and then ngayon kung mapapansin niyo yung tambay niya doon sa MA200 halos salok niya eh di ba halos sinalok niya yung ano so kaya etong part na to this is not a good thing for uh, for MRC kasi ibig sabihin etong MA200 baka maging permanent resistance para sa kanya or sorry uh, medium to long term resistance para kay MRC okay next is BHI Oh. Kaha, hanapan ko lang. Okay. Sige. So, for BHI, no? Ako ang tinitingnan ko sa kanya dito, potential, ha? Potential. Uh, potential head and shoulders, to. So, this is the first neck. This is the head. And then, yan. Yan yung tansya ko sa kanya. No? So, itong part na to, I don't know kung magdidire-direcho to hanggang sa 0.8 na level. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's still possible. No. So again for BHI ingat dahil baka na reach na niya yung peak. No. Tapos kung idadagdag pa natin tong nasa neck na to which was formed way 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 back pa as a resistance then potentially untog nga siya doon sa part na yon. That adds doon sa negative uh, sa bearish bias niya sa chart. Okay? Next LTG. Hmm, ayan. Okay. Swing traders, uh, ito. This is another good example, no? So, again, for uh, for swing trading, kung mapansin natin, no? After niyang mabreak itong part na to, naging ganta na siya. Nagkaroon na ito, no? Pero I still think na possible pa rin tong umabot dyan sa 15 pesos. Yun nga lang, ang, ang medyo concerning lang sa akin is the upside. Kasi I feel na maliit lang to. Almost, well, sakto lang siya, 15%. No? So maganda siya for a swing trader, pero the upside is not attractive. Yun lang yung medyo off sa akin para sa part na to. Okay, doki. Uh, what else? After LTG, we have Bloom. Biniblisan ko na lang guys ha, kasi baka ano, sayang sa oras para makarami pa tayo. Ayan. Okay. Now, for Bloomberry, ayun, ang ganda nung yung formation niya sa Fibo, no? Not sure kung napansin niyo siya. Sakto siya dun yung. After niya ma-break dito yung support, naging ganto na siya. Yan. Baka ganyan na yung mga magiging kasunod na movement niya. Okay? And this is a good playground para sa mga swing traders. Di ba? Kasi pag ganito, wala na to. Abang-abang na lang. Abang play na lang ang gagawin dito eh. No, aabangan ko siya pag lumapit siya at doon sa 6 pesos. Tapos benta ako doon sa around 7 pesos. Ganun yung mangyayari. No, buy here, sell here, antay ulit, buy here, sell sa taas ulit. Di ba? Classic uh, classic siya na ano na swing trading setup. Okay. So, kung meron akong hawak na bloom at this time, um, 
I look for opportunity to sell. No? Tapos mag-aabang na lang ako sa baba. Okay? While kung wala naman akong hawak na bloom, then obviously, sa baba ako mag-aantay. Next. Yes. Okay. For PES, watch out dahil mukhang untog na to. Okay. Possible untog yan. So, kaya ingat. Okay. Kung meron akong hawak na PES, tomorrow's candle will be critical. No? Pag hindi pa niya nabasag yung 0.79 or 0.79 or point, yeah, 0.79, I'll consider partial take profit. Okay? Well, kung wala naman akong hawak na PES, then I'll wait. Sana ko maghahantay. 0.55. No? Eh, actually, area dito na ano eh. Yung magandang abangan eh. Ito. 0.5 hanggang 0.55. Next is now. Ayun lang. Wala consolidation po tong sinaw. Ang boring ng ano niya ng chart niya. Range ko is masyado malaki actually. Immediate Uh, 1 point, 1.9 hanggang 2.74. No? Pero wala, git na eh. Again, 2.40. Kung meron akong hawak na now, um, I can I can hold. No? I can hold. Kung wala naman akong hawak, then I'll wait. Antay na lang na either mag-break out dito or bumaba dito. EDMPR. Okay, again, DDMPR is not a stock for is not is not a stock for trading. Okay? Pang long-term high dividend port siya. Okay? So, for some traders, uh mukha na siyang untog, no? But for long-term traders, exciting na to dahil that means the price could still go lower and then can pick up a much lower price point. Diba? Next. Green. Green. Wala. Uh, consolidation pa lang siya sa ngayon. Yeah. Consolidation pa lang siya sa ngayon. So, kung meron akong hawak na green, I'll hold. I'll set my cut loss at around 4 pesos. Kung wala naman, then I'll wait. I'll wait even further, either sa 3.5 or a breakout coming from 4.90. Okay, next. APL. Yun lang. Uh, uh, tingin ko baka magtagal pa tong si, uh, si APL. Uh, baka magtagal pa siya sa consolidation dito sa part na to unless makakita tayo ng catalyst no a, a positive catalyst that can uh, that can nudge yung presyohan dito ni APL pataas no kasi sa ngayon sa nakikita ko sa kanya nahihirapan siyang i-break itong 1995 or yung point 1994 na to no so nagabang pa yan ng ano ng catalyst bago mag-move. MBT. Okay. So, although nagkaroon na ng tatlong red candle sa kanya, no, still, uh, my bias is the same. Range ko pa rin ay 4470 hanggang 5180. So, given na ginit na anya or hinati niya into two yung presyo, hold lang ako dyan. No, I'll, I'll hold until 47 pesos as a 47 yung magiging cut loss price ko pero kung wala akong hawak I'll wait pa rin sa 
4470 o kaya dun sa top na 5180. Converge. Hmm. Interesting. So mukhang nag-pull back nga itong si uh, si Converge no sa 2170. Etong part na to. Tapos yung kanina is already confirmation of the bounce. So basically etong etong dalawang to these are both conf- uh, these are both pullback candles no coming from a breakout. Tapos yung next candle after that Uh, that pullback is what we call the confirmation candle. It confirmed na yung etong 2175 is a good support para sa stock. No, kasi nag-hold siya above eh. So kung meron akong hawak na converge, I'll hold at this point, pero I'll set my uh, my cut loss sa 2175. Okay. Next is RLC on RLC untog unfortunately no untog siya dito sa area ng 18 1815 okay however napansin niyo tong MA200 line mukhang magiging support siya dun sa stock no kasi again uh, for a support and resistance to matter dapat nagkaroon siya ng maraming reversals just on this spread ng candles, ang dami ko na nakitang reversals. Diba? This one, this one, this one, here, 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 tapos ito pa, ngayon. So, mukhang MA200 play itong mangyayari kay RLC. No? So, kung meron, akong ganyan, kung meron akong hawak na RLC, I'll hold. No? I'll set my cut loss though sa 1750. Okay, kung wala naman then um I'll wait. I'll wait even further, no? Uh particularly dito sa 1850. 1815. I'll I'll wait for the breakout. Okay. Uh last three na lang po tayo ha kasi it's already 9:37 eh. Ever Ayan. Okay. Etong kay Ever, this is also a major pullback. No. So doon sa mga nag-aabang, for example, ng um uh, ng mga pullback play coming from breakouts, I think Ever right now is a good candidate. No, kasi malapit na siya doon sa ano eh, doon sa breakout uh, price point niya na 4346. Saan ko pala to kinuha? Ayun dito. Yeah. Uh, that is a major one. Tanggalin ko yung iba rito sa baba. Ah. Para lang hindi ako malito. Ayan. So, 43, 40, yung 4346 na to, ito yung uh, major support sa sa ever ngayon. And kung napansin ninyo, di ba? Medyo malapit na siya. So, kung meron akong hawak na ever at this point, I'll hold. Kung wala akong hawak na ever, still, ang bias ko is not to go with ever at all pa rin. No? Pero kung talagang ipilit ninyo siya, then at least keep an eye on 43.46 for a potential bounce. Load. Gumalaw na ba si load? Ayun, medyo gumalaw na rin siyang itong si, uh, si load, no? Tanggalik ko muna to ha. Kasi ano na siya. Yan. Pero still, gitna eh. Piso. So between 0.80 hanggang 120. No? Yun yung range ko sa kanya. Kung meron akong hawak na load, I'll hold. I'll set my cut loss at hmm, 0.95. 
Kung wala ka naman akong hawak na load, I'll wait for siguro mga, aso, liliit na yung ano eh, liliit na yung, yung upside. Okay lang. Uh, I, I think I can still wing it kung sakasakali ano. Um, anything na, basta ano, mag, uh, mag-stabilize lang siya dun sa piso. Okay na ako dun. Okay, and then last but not the least, MM na muna tayo. Okay. So, si MM after niya mahulog dun sa 450, nakailang candle na siya pero hindi pa rin siya nakaka, nakakapanik paakit dun sa, sa line na to. So, kung meron akong hawak na MM, uh, I would consider profit taking na, no? kahit partial. Partial profit taking. Kung wala naman akong hawak na MM, then I'll wait. Hintayin ko siya na umangat above 45. 4 point, sorry. Uh, umangat above 4.5. Tapos doon ako pwedeng bumili. Okay? So, ayan. Uh, guys, hanggang dito lang po muna tayo. Pasensya na ha. Uh, I have to cut it kasi normally hanggang 9.30 lang muna tayo. Uh, kasi after nito, uh, ayusin ko pa yung para doon sa, sa remaining nung sa masterclass natin. Uh, By the way, doon sa mga hindi pa nag-register, napasok na doon sa listahan na nilabas kung several days or a few times already, please do register. Doon sa mga hindi nakapasok, please do not register because I will be uh, blocking yung mga yung mga matitigas ang ulo na mag-register doon kahit hindi naman sila pasok. Okay? So, ayun. Uh, just, that's just a piece of warning. Okay, so once again guys, maraming maraming salamat for tuning in, for taking the time. I do really appreciate that. Okay, so good luck sa inyong trading and good night. Bye guys!